All right, we are back to finish out top series two. I got a half a case left, as you can see here, six hobby boxes. We did the first half last night. We did a box, or a whole case, I should say, of the jumbo on, I think it was Saturday. It could have been Friday, as I just try to get this camera up a little bit more. Um, unbelievable. We pulled a couple patches. We pulled a patch last night uh, for um, Houston. That was pretty sweet. So we want to keep it going. It's top series two. It's six of these. If you guys are unfamiliar with it, I'll just do a quick product uh, overview. You're going to get one auto or relic, if you will. So game use memorabilia. We pulled some bats. We've had auto some Scherzer. We've even had a bat from Smith, Tony Gwynn, some pretty cool stuff. Tony Gwynn even alive anymore. So some pretty sweet stuff. A one-on-one of Daryl Strawberry auto. So some pretty cool stuff coming out of these. These are 24 packs in each hobby box. Each pack has 14 cards. So this is going to be a long one. We're probably going to be right around two hours. We're sold out. I just finished a break for Bowman, so I'm sure a lot of people have messaged, hey, can I get an invoice with combined shipping? I'm not worried about that stuff, guys, so just message me. I can take you back the three bucks or whatever it is that you have. No worries. Teamwork makes your dream work. So all you have to do, as many people do, just communicate. Communication is key with all things in life, whether it be a uh, kickback on insurance or it, you know, parenting, romantic, business, whatever, relationships at um, all phases, it's communication. So if you guys need something, let me know. Utilize the chat, not for that, but utilize the chat for, hey, I think you missed a card or this or that, whatever. Again, um, I love cards. I love doing this stuff, so I'm not perfect. You guys see something I missed, let me know. I'm not going to bite your head off. It's all good. And I appreciate the support as I make jokes and do this and that. I'm getting a lot of repeat customers. I've seen a lot of the same names, a lot of the same shipping addresses. Um, Jesse Castillo being one of them. Appreciate the business. Thank you, Jesse, for coming back. Thank you. So, again, as we get going here, a little positivity to get uh, spread around. Uh, really pumped for this. We're going to finish this out. If I get more, I'll let you guys know. Um, as of now, I don't believe I will be. Um, but you never know. I've said that before. And then three days later, I get a text and then bam, it's a good deal. So I do it. Having said that, let's fucking ride, baby. This is a monster set. 350 card set. I'm sure you guys are familiar with what is in this set. And we're going to rip it open tonight. Again, we got six of these. I'm on the first hobby, so I'm doing them one by one. I know some breakers will open up all the cards and just rip through it. I like to do one by one to give not just me, but you a break as well from me. So it's not just me needing maybe a drink or something real quick. It's um, it's a lot. So have a seat. Let's get rolling. I will sleeve all cards like SPs and stuff like that when I mail them. In regards to the break, especially one of this size, you're only going to see me do autos, uh, relics, and certain cards that will just catch my eye. But like Robert, for example, we pulled, I think, 11 Roberts last night. I didn't sleep those till I shipped them out to the guy this afternoon. So having said that, um, I do get a lot of people that will message that. No worries. If you have certain requests, I can do that as well. We had a gentleman say, hey, can you sleeve all of the rookie cards in mine? I said, all right. He never messaged me. <laughs> that was funny. I was looking for the message. I'm like, who said that last night? In the chat, they wanted me to do something for them. Well, they never eBay messaged me, so I don't know who it is. But um, if you guys want that, that's all right. I'm not going to lose my mind just because I have to sleeve cards. If you have certain specifics, get it. Like me, I love the Red Sox. So when I do breaks on the Red Sox, I'll message out, hey, if you get these cards, please do this with them. Let me know. Stuff like that. So it's all good. You got to communicate. Other than that, it's Monday. The week has started. Hope everybody had a, a, a nice start to the week, right? Um, always the worst feeling in the case of the Mondays. I'm not going to make that joke, but yeah. And with everything else going on, I'm sure everyone's just kind of like, whatever. So, as this summer rolls on, let's see what we have in this break this evening. We'll make it an epic break of Top Series 2 6 Hobby Box. Let's roll. Let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. See what we can get to nice. Some great jersey cards, I will tell you that. They have not disappointed. We pulled an acetate a couple breaks back. That was not the jumbo. And everything. Oh, probably not from the jumbo. Nah. The jumbo is actually surprised we didn't get more. And we left with a lot. We had six draft cards. 
We had two of the uh, jersey patches and several autographs. We had the 101 Daryl. That was unbelievable. And then we had several one-offs. We had that McCutcheon SP, which everyone likes, where he's he's got the Cuban links. Got the one button on the chest, looking hardcore. We pulled that. And, you know, a lot of the variances. You got the camo, the USA one, some stuff like that. So, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going for you guys this evening. A couple more packs left on this first hobby. And we are going to run right through this bitch as quickly and efficiently as possible. If you just saw the Bowman break, I like to kind of go into each card. Not going to be able to do that with this massive amount of cards. But I will stop on your inserts and certain cards that I uh, will want to stop at. Everything else you will see me shift through, which is not my normal um, approach. But again, at two hours you'll realize why. A lot of these guys are uh, prospects, so it's not as if we're, you know, shifting back these Trout 101s and going like that. Although I will miss them. I have missed some nice cards. Last night I missed one of the guys. I was like, hey, man. So there. All right, big Orioles fan, Daryl Holtman. All right, DH in the house. What up, Daryl? Appreciate the opportunity this evening and you spending your time with me. Let's go. Let's see what we have in store for the Orioles, amongst others. We got Cal Ripken. Um, we had a Cal Ripken jersey, so let's keep going, man. Uh, Kyle Tucker, Houston. Kyle Seeger, Seattle. And let's see what we can get with this. They love, they absolutely love to give me upside down cards. So you're going to see me move and then flip it around after. New York Yankees, decades best of the 1980s. Are you kidding me? I don't know about that one. 80s best? Maybe 90s. Yankees sucked back then. For real. And there's our first foil card. The Texas Rangers team card. That's foil. Beautiful card for the Rangers. Love these foil cards. 2030 insert for the Toronto Blue Jays. Bo Bouchette. Good luck to you as well, E-dubs. Eric Wilson. Is that the St. Louis Billikens? Get it, baby. I don't know. If I, that might just be your emoji. Is that, the, is that for St. Louis? Larry Hughes, man. Big hoops guy I am, so I don't know. The old, uh, I think he's now passed, Majerus left Utah and I think finished up his career out in uh, with the Billikens, St. Louis. Well, random facts for you guys. And I know we're in baseball, not hoops, so I will stop. All right, 35-year throwback, Garrett Cole, New York Yankees. So there is Garrett Cole. Beautiful. Oh, Billiken, St. Louis, baby. Get it. Get it. I'm with you on that one, buddy. I love to gamble in Larry Hughes. I got so much money from Larry Hughes, I should probably pay him 10%. I was riding them that year. Nobody, they're like, who's St. Louis? They big ball. The great team. Great story, too, man. I love it. And we didn't even have the tournament this year, but I love it when teams make runs. And I know they didn't make a crazy deep run that year, but Larry Hughes is a great NBA product, man. If you guys know your hoops, we will move on, or else it'll just be me and Eric Wilson. So let's go. All right, some more upside-down cards. They have an exact, uh, an entire uh, build out for Trout, an entire insert package. Everything's player of the decade, Mike Trout. So you'll see these as well. And this is another example of a card. When we mail them to you, I'll put them in their own team bag and all that stuff. But with the amount of cards that we have on this type of break, we simply do not have the time. Again, upon request, if you have something specific, let me know. So beautiful. These are the number to 2020 cards. This is the team card for the uh, Braves. 1923 to 2020, and it's not their team card. It's just a a celebration card, so almost like an SP, if you will. Not an SP. There you go. Yeah, not yet, Bill. Trying, bro. And it's funny because I am a big Bo Jackson guy. My buddy is as well, has some sweet Bo Jackson kicks. We were talking about him last time I was down there at his pad. Um, I'd love to do it for you, bro. So let's let's find out. Let's find out. 
And this is the upside down one. Um, just in case I missed something, I always kind of scan back through Felix Hernandez. There's the Brave New World, not insert or var uh, variance or parallel, whatever word you want to use for that. 2020. And then you'll see they have a black one, this border here. They have a camo one. Got a couple of those last night. And then they have, uh, they, they actually have a lavender one. I, I pulled a lavender one of all colors. I know it's like, all right, this is where Nate just starts making shit up for filler talk. No, <laughs> it sounds like it. It sounds like shit that I'm, oh yeah, it's a lavender color. Wanna... It's not though, they did. All right, here we go. Cincinnati. Back to the upside down move. So there's a beautiful card. A 505 maximum home run distance. So apparently he jacked one 505. And then they show you the longest homers of the year last year. That can't be right. That's it? Significant stats. Let's go to the Chicago White Sox. Miguel Rojas with his Jordans on. Get it. Upside down cards. Love it. All right. Hunter Harvey. So there's another 2030. This one's to the Indians. Love these cards. They're beautiful. 2030 insert. This is going to Cleveland. That landscape card goes to the Pirates. And they shower us with these upside down cards. They have this insert as well for those that are new. It's called like Tops Now. They have this one, Garrett, Garrett uh, Cole. So Anthony Rendon getting a card for being introduced at a news conference. Yeah. Mike Trout doing work. Beautiful. Even the throwback uni. Great card for the LA Angels. Love the throwback. They are doing a great job this year with that kind of stuff. Some more upside down cards. So Here's Decade's Best 1950s. It's the Chicago White Sox. If you take a look at their hats, you'll be able to see. Chicago White Sox. Also, it says White Sox. In like 13, 14 font. All right. <laughs> silver foil for the Texas Rangers again. Well, the first uh, foil was a silver foil uh, Rangers team card. So how about that? Texas getting a couple sweet cards early. Another decade's best, Chris Sale for the 2010s. There you go. Chris Sale on the back end of that. He brought a World Series to Boston for sure. Not just him, but the team. I have a feeling you'll be seeing him moving on rather shortly. Boston loves to load their pitchers up and then let people like Mookie Betts go. What the fuck? Come on. Yeah, I'm bitter about Betts leaving, clearly. Clearly. I wonder if he'll stay in L.A. I'm glad they're playing because if they didn't play, he really would have taken a hit from a market value perspective. No way he would have approached Trout money. We'll see how close he can get to that based on what he'll do here. Alex Cobb, Orioles, 228 out of 2020. But, like, for real, if they didn't play um, this year, that would have hurt a guy like Mookie Betts real bad. Real bad. Because obviously Boston's like, well, we don't want to pay you. We know you're great. And now it's a question of, well, how great is he for other teams to pay him that kind of money? So we'll see. I have a feeling he'll end up with somebody like the Mets if the Dodgers don't go after him and resign him. But the Dodgers have all those young players in the outfield. Like, who are they going to let go? They are stacked with talent. If they don't win the World Series or whatever it is this year, I don't know. Marcus Semien with the Athletics. There you go, Oakland. Another team card. That's the Mariners' Chris Bryant. There is our first Luis Robert with the Chicago White Sox. Looking to rope one. Luis Robert, get ready for him. Robert Mania. Fernando Tatis Jr. with the San Diego Padres. 20-30 insert. There you go, San Diego. Mookie Betts, L.A. 
There he is. He heard us. White Sox team card. So Johnny Bench, this is a throwback. Warriors of the Diamond, 8.6 war for him. It's a pretty big war number. Wins above replacement, I believe. All right, so we got our first SP, and it's Jonathan Daza. So that's our first SP card, rookie card as well, Jonathan Daza. There you go, Colorado. Couple more upside down. Altuve and Victor Robles with the Nationals. We'll second round these just to make sure. Hope everyone's summer's going well. I couldn't believe it. I mentioned this on the last one. We've uh, been communicating with the schools and stuff because at least where we are in Central Florida, normally, yeah, first of 20, right, Bill? Normally, um, school will be starting in about two weeks. Now, they're voting all sorts of stuff. It's crazy, man. I don't know if any of you guys have kids in school. If you guys are older, I'm 38. I got three. I got three. And it's some intense stuff. So I hope everyone else, if you're going through that as well, wow. Then you get the teacher's side of it. The teacher's like, well, what are, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> So it's the whole thing is just rough. And I have a feeling with everything going on, you're going to see that kind of shift to a lot of things. So, All right. We're not here for that. We're here for some cards. Let's keep it going. All righty. We are on hobby box number one. Let's go. Let's ride, baby. All right. Upside down time. Mark McGuire. I was always a big Mark McGuire guy. Obviously, we know. He's a, a current hitting coach for the Dodgers. Oh, is she for real, Bill? So you know what I'm talking about. And you took it the right way. Either It's it's hard sometimes to, whoop, as I kick the camera. It's hard sometimes to just have a normal conversation like we're having a beer. And that's my whole approach with these breaks. Just talk like if you guys are here, we're shooting the shit or whatever, you know. Um... It's rough, bro, because the teachers are going to be stuck in there. So it's like, and at least down here. So here's a, a beautiful card. If we don't get a second one, I actually have one that I can send out. But if um, if we get others with this, we'll go to the randomizer. This is going to the Yankees and the Indians. Again, I have a second one of my own that I can throw. But we should get like four of these. There's another card, too. Um, it has the Astros and the Dodgers on it. We've had that a couple times. But yeah, man, best of luck with that. And with, oh, nice, Trout coming in. Um, with what your wife has to do and the school board and all that, but they're having us vote as parents. It's weird, man, the whole thing. But that, I assume that's across the country. All right, look at this unbelievable card. Let's get a close-up. There you go, Mike Trout. Mike Trout. They are giving a ton of love to Trout. We have gotten several of these with Trout. We have gotten several of his... Um, Decades cards, and uh, for this, these are great, man. Load it up, Mike Trout. Load it up, Mike Trout. There you go, Mike Trout, a beautiful card. So the Angels are on the board first. How about that? To the upside down world. Come on now, tops. Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo, 35 year throwback. Beautiful card there. That's going to the New York Mets. Mike Stanton, excuse me, Giancarlo Stanton. Mike Stanton, when he came in the league, apparently was a badass football player. I don't know if that story's true. Uh, LA guy, I believe he's a West Coast guy. P. Alonzo, Mets, 2030. Love those cards, man.
Didi Gregorius. Back to some upside. Tim Lincecum, definitely 2000's best. Tim Lincecum, the kid. Actually, Griffey was the kid. I forgot Lincecum's. This guy was awesome. Tim Lincecum, decade's best. I would agree with that. I know he had sort of a comeback with the Angels, I believe. He just didn't have it. Oh, so there you go. The last card, please sack. Out of 2020, and there's a card under him, Hosmer, excuse me. So there's Osmer. And there is 729 out of 2020. So beautiful card. Zach Plesak, Cleveland. All right. Snug under there. Let's take a look at the upside down ones again. Make sure we do not overlook a card. And mainly, I'm looking for, they have a Tops. There's one here. You'll see it. It's like an old logo from the 70s. Usually, I can feel it. It's like a canvas feel compared to this slick, like, coating they have on this, on these base cards. Um, plus, the, vari the, the variances, the parallels. Hopefully, we'll have another one. We had one last night. I love them. The USA card. Sounds like a joke, but it's not. You want me to buy something from you? You slap an American flag, and I'll buy two of them. Made in the USA, all that stuff, whatever. I love it. And when I see those cards, I love them. You, and they're, they're numbered to 76, so clearly the ones you want are 17 out of the 76. Do it. God bless America. So Joey Gallo, Texas, 35-year anniversary throwback. That's for the Rangers. I like these cards as well. And the fact that we're opening an active set a lot of the times we'll do stuff that's you know like i do a lot of bowman so i got bowman 2018 i can't imagine those contests are still open this is one for next year the 2021 home run derby so the owner of the astros team tonight you will have a chance to scratch this and possibly win so best of luck to you i think those are pretty cool man pretty cool there is hayward with the cubbies Again, just second round through all these upside down cards. Trust me, it's just easier than spinning them and then doing the whole, you know. All right. We have number two there, but we've got the chrome. The chrome box topper. Come on. And each chrome box topper comes with this. This is simply, and if anybody wants them, I had a guy a couple breaks who said, hey, I'll have one. All right. This is, they're calling it National Baseball Card Day, August 8th. It's marketing material, but I get it for you hard, hardcore collectors. You guys might collect those as well. Let me know again. Message, uh, communication is uh, important. George Brett, beautiful card for the Royals. Cody Bellinger, Dodgers. Randy Johnson, the big unit. Mariners and Josh Rojas, rookie card no less. With the Arizona Diamondbacks. So there you go. Mike Trout. Taking it home on box number one. He's the cover boy. He's everything. You know it. I know it. He is Mike Trout. Gone fishing it. We pulled a trout. How about that? Let's see if we can go back to the well and pull another. We will gladly accept Mike Trout autographs. We will do that. Love to have it. All right. There you go, bro. There you go. All right. Or perhaps some additional cow ripped Big Daryl. All right, guys. Here we go. 
Best of luck. We are on hobby box number two and right on schedule. Each box is about 20 to 25 minutes. That's about three every hour, hour and five, hour and ten. So I'm pushing to be right around two hours. But to be appropriate and not just sh shuffle through the cards like real quick. Yeah, you know, that's kind of where we're at. That's where the running time has been on the last. And to highlight again, I mentioned it, but I can show you guys. It's 14. There's 14 cards to every one of these packs. Each one of these stacks is like 24 in a box. So, yeah. Yep. All right. Intriguing pack that was. All right, guys. This is definitely the time you go get a drink, have a smoke, spark it up, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. This is the no judgment zone. The only thing we're judging are all these goddamn packs of cards. How about that? We are on hobby box number two of six. 2020 Top Series 2. That's what we're doing on this glorious evening. Eric, I didn't even see it, bro. I, I swear to God. I Whenever I do back-to-back -back breaks, I can't be hardcore on you guys. Um, So you're good. Didn't even see it. <laughs> no worries. No worries. I didn't see it, so it never happened, right? Is that how it works? That's what my kids try to say. Sometimes it actually works, and I say, all right. Other times, I lose my mind. And I say, bullshit. Don't give me that. Do it again. It's all based on the mood I'm in. Yeah, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I like to call audibles. You know what I'm saying? There's no one right way to be a parent, right? Guys... It's only a whole bunch of wrong ways. Can I get an amen, right? You want me to preach, I'll preach. No truer words have been spoken in the realm of parenting. And it's there is no one right way to be a parent or a good parent. Just a whole bunch of fucking wrong ways. Yeah. I got tons of great sayings like that, guys. And I claim them all for my own, even though they're all hijacked. Oh, no worries, Eric. Teamwork makes a dream work, bro. I got guys that'll message me a week after that. Hey, man, can you do it? Sure, I get it. I'm busy, too, as you hear me talking about three kids. Stuff happens, man. Stuff happens. So, E2, I appreciate the opportunity. Hopefully, we do a good enough job for you that you come back and pay on time the next time. Okay, Eric? <laughs> I was just kidding. I was building up to a nice zinger for you, bro. It's all good. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. All right. Two or... Yeah, right? Two packs left, and then we're on to Hobby Box number two. How about that? And I cannot wait, because last night we pulled something real thick. Right at the end, I mean, this thing, I thought there was a Bible in there. It was so thick, but it wasn't. It was another patch. And we're trying to get some more tonight. Let's go. Yep. Right when you think you have it mastered, Top says, here are a bunch of cards upside down. Brooks Robinson, 1960s. Orioles. Yeah. Look at the helmet visor. Look at how short. It was like just like a little, what are those hats? Like bolos or something, right? I know that's not a bolo helmet, but just being observational late here, not dissing the Orioles. Okay. Daryl. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Enough of. Getting on Daryl's case. 
You just want some time off of work. Here we go. Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant with the Chicago Cubs. 2030, Chris Bryant. Southside swag. That's the Chicago White Sox. And again, all these upside down cards I'm putting in this pile back here. Love them around the end. And uh, Andrew and Ben Attendee. Boston Red Sox, 35 year throwback. Yeah, Daryl, no, don't get me on that shit. You're 100% correct, bro. Does not get the love he deserves. That stat you just whipped out, which you probably had loaded up in any bar you go into, the way you pulled that out so quick, I'll give you that credit. That's what I'd come out with. I'd come out with the heat. 16 gold gloves in a row. Are you fucking kidding me? And I lose my mind over Matt Chapman who I believe is the best third baseman in the game right now fielding. I love Nolan Arenado. Don't get me wrong. Next time you guys are in the airport, go to YouTube and you want to spend some time and have a smile, watch highlights of Matt Chapman. Go ahead and throw on Brooks Robinson as well. I don't know how grainy the video is going to be, but Matt Chapman has a good hour to two of him just fielding routine ground balls and very difficult hit balls, and he makes it look smooth like silk. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah, I'm weird like that. I'll admit it. I'll watch that shit. I'll watch it in the car. Picking up the kids from school. I'm sitting there. Sports, the best unscripted theater out there. Get some. Luis Robert. Chicago White Sox. How about that? Called Wong. Colton So there's another one of the players of the decade right there. Mike Trout. It's the entire insert package for him. They got a couple autos. They got a couple one-offs. I would love to bring that to you. Can we do it? Beautiful card there. So there is one of the cards we've been looking for. You can see it here. And three Braves in a row. So no less. You'll see the differences. That's a base. And so is this. Freddie Freeman. who I, Freddie Freeman, I believe, just in the news. He had COVID. So best of luck to the Freeman clan. But that's a black one. And it's numbered out of 69. 35 out of 69. Travis Dard. Get that. All day, every day. Nice work, Atlanta Braves. I was talking about somebody else here the night, Daryl from Baltimore, that does not get enough love, and it's Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray. Of course, Mickey Mantle is in a class of his own, but Eddie Murray and Chipper Jones, to me, are number two and number two. And I got a couple for love, Chipper, all that. Eddie fucking Murray, switch hitter. Don't forget it. Look at that. Atlanta. Great card there, Atlanta. All right, so let's go through these backwards cards, start mixing the piles, apologize. Jimenez, Detroit. Carlos Martinez. All right, here we go. Next stack. It would help if I have him on camera. That might help you guys out. Another Luis Robert. So we'll take that one real quick. Beautiful card. Another Luis Robert. Let's get it. Oh, is that why? Is he a prick to the media? Because I always discount a lot of the media shit, bro. Like, because if I'm a player and I got to hear this shit, it's like, I'm the type of guy to be like, man, fuck you. I read that shit. Get off of me. You know what I mean? I'm very emo hard on my sleeve. I'm just going to let it out. So he's an a-hole. I didn't know that. I don't know any of these guys really, but it's like, 
Oh, that's too bad. There's a couple guys that kind of get uh, treated a certain way with conversations um, on several sports in the Hall of Fame stuff. So he's still a Hall of Famer, but yeah, I'm not aware of that part. There's a Robo significant stats, 23 outs above average. So he, he feels a lot of balls. He's great. And then we have our array of backwards cards. He has over 500 homers, right? Eddie Murray. I'd like to see the split on that. Left hand, right hand. You know what I'm saying? So Shea Otani, Shohei Otani, 2030. That is with the Angels. Love these inserts. There you go. There's another one. Rhino. Rhino. Ryan Sandberg. On those interesting Cubs teams from the 80s and the early 90s. We got a black card right here, and it's Andrew Benatendi. There you go, Bo Sox. Red Sox Nation in the house. Beautiful card. Boston Red Sox, 35-year throwback, 274 of 299 for the Boston Red Sox. Go Sox. Go Benatendi. I believe he went to Arkansas. I'll hit you with some college baseball knowledge. Not too much, but... Love this guy. The Sox should be tying him up if he's not tied up already with Mookie Betts gone. they got to retain several of those guys to kind of uh, move forward. Or you never know. They might just throw money at a guy. I kind of see them doing something stupid like that. They don't give money to Betts, but they can give money to some other guy. Oh, really? The pitcher, probably. Here we go. Another. I, every time I talk about Mookie Betts, he shows up in a Dodger uniform. Reds. Love this card. Every time I see it, I brought him up the other night. Kevin Mitchell. Best bare hand catch, period. Period. Steve Carlton. Steve Carlton. Yeah, he's a good third baseman, too. Bill, not, good point. And right as you say that, it's a Philly card. Steve Carlton, 70s best. And I believe, uh, what's his name's on one of those cards? Schmidt. Schmidt was a great offensive player. I'll have to go back and take a look at some of the stats. I'm a stat geek, so I'll pick that shit up after. There's Hader, Josh Hader. Milwaukee. This is a 2020 card. This is 1177 out of 2020. Milwaukee. Little landscape action for you. And two more upside down. It's Robles and Altuve, but I'll show you them here in a second. All right, here we go. Just to make sure we don't miss anything. All right. Who had 548? Murray or Schmidt didn't have 548, did he? Oh, did he really? I know Murray, at the end of his career, I think he was on like one of those Indians teams that made it to the, uh, maybe he was a coach, that made it to the World Series. Maybe the 97 teams? Maybe? Yeah, it's amazing. Eddie Murray. All right. Let's see what we have here. Moving on. Brian Suter. And some more backwards cards. If you were looking for some backward card breaks, you are at the right spot. Trevor Story, Colorado Rocky, 35-year throwback. Beautiful card there. Trevor Story, Colorado. 
So there's the other. Touch it. We just keep getting these. Other role reversal. One. It's Glaber Torres and Lindor. One for each Yankees and the Indians. Bryce Harper. Bam. 2030. That's going to the Phillies. So Royals team card. Another now. Juan Soto hits three homers in one World Series. There's War Griffey. God, look at how young he looks. Now that's the kid. We talked about it earlier. That is the kid. Lives around here, local here to the uh, Central Florida area. So another SP. This is for Boston. This Chris Sale. Looking like they took this when he was on the DL. There's Chris Sale. Oh, Jesus. Bill, don't do it. Don't do it, Bill. Yeah. He was more of a defensive guy. 268 back then. But yeah, 500 homers for Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray didn't play third base, did he? Was he all over? I'm talking switch hitters, right? Hell no. Get out of here. Oh, Jose Abreu, White Sox foil card. Beautiful there. I love what you're doing, Bill. Bill, Jesus. You, I, you're going to get me distracted, and then this shit's going to take even longer. So stop it. God damn it, Bill. Stop. All right, we'll leave these upside down. We'll let that, we'll let that pile accumulate. Yeah, 548 homers, though. I want to see the split righty versus lefty. Matters. So there's Big Donnie Mattingly. There you go. Don Mattingly. Upside down cards. Oh, Bregman. Look at that. So, Walker, Hamels, and Wendell. Okay, beautiful card here. They're real slick. They feel like the other cards from the back. Here's the back part. This is numbered, guys. This is black, 199. So 137 out of 199. Bam. How about that? Alex Bregman. So the first one was the Angels, right? It was Trout. The first one was Trout. The S Bregman, baby. Well, all right. So we have Bregman, Houston, and Atlanta. Or, or excuse me, Houston and the Angels are on the board with some material. We love the material cards. I'm sure you do, too. Here we go. Jose Barrios, all-star, Minnesota Twins. Yeah, Lenny Dykstra. <laughs> Bo Bichette, Bo Bichette, another insert, 2030. Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto's getting that card and our... Customary run of upside down cards. Jonas, Jonas, and so do the Mets. Reggie Jackson for sure. Look at that. He's got the chops and everything. 
Oakland A's, Reggie Jackson, decades best hitter. There you go. That's going to the Oakland A's. Miguel Rojas, Marlins. All right. Some more upside down cards. So Jonathan Hernandez. 360 out of 2020. Jonathan Hernandez. There you go. Texas. Howie Kendrick, a World Series champion. Brewers, Lorenzo Cain. Beautiful 35-year anniversary throwback for the Brewers and Lorenzo Cain, an unbelievable defensive center fielder. He's another guy that does not get enough credit. That's Reddick again, Maldonado. So there's one for Giancarlo Stanton. So that card's going to the Yanks. That's that scratch off to go to next year's 2021 home run derby. So that's cool. That's going to the New York Yankees. Beautiful card here. A Garrett Cole foil card. I don't believe these are numbered. No, they are not. But this is a beautiful silver foil card for your New York Yankees. How about that? That is a stunner. We've had some good foil. Abreu as well a little bit earlier. We've been getting some um, lower end players, if you will. Jake Cave. These are the upside down cards that come through. Again, I just like to cycle back. Make sure we don't miss something real proper. Syndergaard, we had his jersey card last night as well. Cano was the other Met. Good night for the Mets last night. So hobby number two is done. Except for the crumb. And we are moving on to hobby number three. Hobby number three is coming up. Let's go. So there it is. Let's see what we have for the chrome. Again, the uh, August 8th National Trading Baseball Card Day. Sheldon Reese, Oakland A's. Noah Syndergaard, Mets, Eloy Jimenez, the White Sox, and Hunter Harvey. Hunter Harvey, rookie, Baltimore Orioles. So there you go, Baltimore, another card. All right, we're on the third of six. Yeah, we're, we're not even halfway. We are not even halfway. Let's find out. We got the chrome. Topper right there. Here we go. Here we go. Grab a quick drink. So let's take a five second break. One moment, please. I needed that. I needed that bad. And I'm back. I am back. Here we go. We are on hobby number three. Just ripping through these packs on a Monday night. Let's keep it going, shall we? Yes, we shall. Dab time. <laughs> Sorry. 
Time for the death. That shit will fuck you up, Bill. You know that, Bill. Alright, here we go. I keep staring at that Eric comment. E2. With game use jaw. That is next level shit. Like, hey man. Don't ask how we got it. But here is some used chewing tobacco from. <laughs> oh, that shit's funny. I'm a simple man, Eric. That shit makes me laugh. All right, guys. Best of luck. This is the time, as Bill said. Hey, time to do some other things and get ready for the box. Well, how about that? Elvis Andrews sneak peek on the back of that card. Wow. How about that? Here we go. Here we go. All right. Ugh. Half a pack left. Half a stack left, I should say. So again, 14 cards each pack. A lot of inserts on this, as you've seen so far. I don't believe we've missed any. Um, some of the parallels, of course. Armed Forces. Game used cup cards. Oh, man, remember that shit? As a kid, you're like, oh, these are horrible. The cup. Old cup. We melted it down and inserted it into these 700 cards. Ultra collectors only. <laughs> that sounds like a Saturday Night Live skit, Bill. I don't know if any of you guys are into that. I haven't watched that show in years. I shouldn't say that. I flip it on every now and then, but there was a time I loved that show. But I'm also 38, so I grew up with like Farley and like Phil Hartman and yeah, you know I mean dudes like that. And again, if you guys are older, you could. You, some of you guys might be lucky enough where, I mean, I think their starting cast had. Not just Belushi, everybody remembers that, but they had fucking, um, what's his name? What was his name? And I can't believe I forget it. He is one of the best comedians of all time. Eddie, baby. Yeah, that's right, Big Eddie. His brother Charlie, Charlie Murphy. Yeah, he was on, I think, the first season. So is the chick from Seinfeld, Julie Louis Dreyfus. Stellar cast. All right. We have a couple packs left, and then we are on it. South Park skit. Yeah, South Park. I still watch that. I said that a couple weeks back. I'm sure, you, I'm sure I lost some business for it, but whatever. Shit is funny. True things in life are funny. And when they made fun of the NCAA for players and all that, it was so true. And you're seeing already now, California passed some, some uh, legislator to get those guys paid. We will see what happens with that. All right, Oakland A's, let's get it. Oh, Ackroyd was the other one. Yeah, Eddie Murphy. Eddie, Eddie Murphy, a lot of, I mean, he just did, he's done so many movies. He's. There you go, Indians, 1950s. I'm a big Eddie Murphy guy. He's funny. I mean, what was that comedy tour he was selling out? Right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Raw? Eddie Murphy Raw? I might be 38, but I watch that shit. That shit is good. He's fun. Ed, there we go. Luis Robert. It was Raw, where he did the, the tour. God, what was that, like 83? Maybe 86? Chris Bryant, Chicago Cubs. And what did I do here? I think I just put some of these upside down cards. There we go. Tops with your fucking upside down cards on us. Come on now. 
All right, Freddie Freeman, 35-year anniversary throwback. That's for Atlanta. So I hope Freddie Freeman gets better soon. I'm sure you guys all read that. I mentioned a little bit earlier, dealing with we have another Mookie Betts. Another D.D. Gregorius. So there's another Trout. This is a significant stats Trout. 456 XOBP. Significant stats. That one's for Trout. We've got Robles and I think Osmer on the Padres. On we go. So there's another player, the decade trout card. Bam. Beautiful card for trout. Sergio Romo, closer, former closer. The Giants, World Series. There he is, Shohei Otani. Again, LA Angels. Love those 20 30 inserts. Do not love the upside down cards. Another one. So, this is a Tops Now AL Cy Young Award winner. Ken Griffey Jr., old school. That pitcher's got to be from, like, 89. Beautiful shot there. Oh, it's talking about 96. No way that's from 96. So they're just showing his home run back then. Remember that guy, Brady Anderson? Albert Bell had 48 homers that year. Remember Albert Bell? Albert Bell. Love the Indians. Jim Tomey, a young Manny Ramirez. They couldn't beat the Marlins in 90s. Craig Council with some timely hitting. Edgar Renteria. Everybody remember that team. I believe that, and it's not. It looks like a camo card, but it's not numbered. And one of these last night, I'm going to pull it over to the side. But I'm telling you, man, it's got that camo print. That's another call for Nunez. Upside down bullshit. All right, let's finish this out. Yastrzemski, yes. Get it, Boston Red Sox. Decades best, 1960s. <clears throat> Brett Gardner. Shogo Akiyama with the Reds. That is 1916 out of 2020. That's going to Cincinnati. And then a couple more upside down just because they couldn't stop. We'll take it from there. Let's take a look at all these upside down cards real quick. Here we go. Here we go. Shinsu Chu. Another DD Gregorius. All right. Here we go. All right. 
Here we go. This is a, the Victor Caratini. 19 out of 69. Beautiful black card for the Cubbies. Let me take care of that real quick. And then we will be good to go from there. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go. Beautiful card for the Cubbies. Okay. On we go. Jose Altuve. Yu Chang. Another Carlos Martinez. Josh Reddick. And Mark Maldonado. All right. So we got one more stack on hobby number three. Toronto. Ketel Marte, 35-year throwback. That is for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Mike Trout with the L.A. Angels. Mike Trout. There you go. Nineteen sixties, Willie McCovey, McCovey Cove, San Francisco Giants. There's Tony Camp. Tony Camp, another 2020 card. This is for the Oakland A's, 970 out of 2020. Tony Camp, that's going to Oakland. Another Luis Robert. Whoop, I'll draw that one. Luis Robert, how about that? So I think that's like... Five. Wow. Five row bears. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, baby. Stroman, 35 year throwback. How about that? Mets. Another home. This is for Jordan Alvarez. So Astros. There you go. Jordan Alvarez. Home run challenge card. This is for the White Sox. Another foil card. Silver foil card. James McCann. And then some more upside down cards. Jungin Kim. St. Louis. Or Quang, I believe. Quang Young Kim. And uh, here are the cards that were upside down. Tyler Mayo. And just to make sure we don't miss anything here. It's out of the way. All right. The final stack of box number three. And then we are moving on to four, five, and six. So we're about the halfway point here. We're about an hour 04 in. So, yep, here we go. Oh, 
Jose Abreu, 35-year throwback, 35th anniversary, White Sox. Bot, same bot. Boy, see. Twenty thirty. Insert Phillies. Bryce Harper. So there's another Phillies war. Steve Carlton, 12.1. Wins above replacement. All right. So there's an SP for Luis Severino. So that's after their wild card win. Was 19? Did they win the title in 19? Were they wild card? Not the title, the AL East. They might have won the AL East. Where are my Yankees fans at? Mike Ford. Another. So back to back Yankee cards. That's a foil. I mean, it was just last year. Because I don't believe the Sox made it. And I believe, what, Houston went to the World Series. Edgar Martinez, Mariners, DH. That's all he did. He was the original designated hitter. Trey Mancini, Baltimore. Best of luck to you and your family as well. I know you're going through a lot of health problems. Big ups. No one likes to see anyone sick. And there is a nice car. For the Chicago Cubs. It's numbered as well. 98 at a 199. A beautiful card for the Chicago Cubs. An absolute beauty. So we have had the Angels. The Cubbies. And what was the other jersey card that we had? That's right. It was he, it was Bregman. We just had it. It was Bregman. What did I forget? So Anthony Rizzo. The Cubbies are on the board with a black card. How about that? How about that? Again, numbered 98 out of 199. There you go, Cubbies. How about that? Couple cards left. Right, and then we will be moving right along. All right, Castro with Detroit. All right, so three in. We got three more to go. Halfway point, intermission, right or wrong. We're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. All right, here's the next one. But you see the chrome, and so do I. Let's open up the chrome. All right, Joey Votto, Cincinnati Reds, perennial all-star, Abraham Toro, Houston, Giancarlo Stanton. Just crushing one. And Ketel Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. So there you go, Chrome. Let's keep this moving. All right. 
On we go. Andrew McCutcheon. All right. I'm going to rip these open. You guys got about five minutes. Let's take a quick break as I uh, peel all these off again. Tops, not fucking around. 14 cards to a pack. How about that? Way to go, Tops. Beautiful there. And again, in each hobby box, four stacks of six. That's 24 in the box. 24 cards in total. Each box guaranteed a relic or auto. We have yet to see an auto this evening. We have had some badass relics. Again, Anthony Rizzo, who you just saw. Bregman, both Bregman and Rizzo numbered. Bregman had a 99. Rizzo, you just saw 199. And a Trout. A Trout jersey card. How about that? Come on now. Come on now. What a card. All right, we are just peeling through, so hold on tight, everybody. Where do all the wrappers go? They go on the floor until I'm done, and then I pick them up. That's right. Every day I say, man, I need to bring like a trash can up in here. Lazy Nate wins that argument every time. Except it turns into more work because I gotta pick them up. <laughs> shit. Oh shit. Alright. Let's keep it going, baby. Come on now. Come on now. What do we have left? Let's find out. When Superman met Titan. Here it is. Titan Mitt Superman. Here it is. All right. Come on now. seen half. We've opened up more than half because, again, we're on hobby number four. This is where we got to labor through and make it happen. Just keep opening packs and it will happen. It's bound to happen. So let's do it. Let's do it. All right. It's so hard to see Felix Hernandez in that Braves uniform. Every I've, I've done, like, pro, this is probably, like, my eighth for Series 2. Just him on that Braves card. Tim Anderson, White Sox, 35-year throwback. We'll probably see another because he's coming up a lot. But, uh, yeah, he's actually on one of the 2000s, uh, 2010s, decades best, the 10s, the teens. 
Bryce Harper, 20-30 again. Philly, back-to-back. He had the last one up there as well. Kevin Cron. Cron looking real slim. Get it. Slim boy. Another significant stats. WOBA 442 for Yelich. Get it, Christian Yelich. Milwaukee. So, Harmon Killebrew SP, that's sweet. Give me a sec. Beautiful card. Country strong, no batting gloves. Get it. Beautiful card for Minnesota. That's a great card. Here's a foil card underneath it. Jacob Junis. Kansas City. Well, how about that? Love this card. He's like, I didn't trap that shit. I caught it. <laughs> Paul Goldschmidt, St. Louis. There you go, Goldie. Paul Goldschmidt, St. Louis. And then just your run of the mill upside down cards. Come on now. Jacob DeGrom, New York Mets. 35-year throwback there. Are these all upside down? Of course not. And that's why I don't rotate them. Because they come in and I'm flipping it and moving them around like this, right? You just saw it. Everything else is upside down. All right. Got to build some momentum and end this strong. Come on. All right, next stack. Here it is. Had a couple two on the bottom there. So Hayward and Nunez. There's a Hayward card just to make sure you saw it. There. There we go. So there's the auto. Andrew Kneiser. So Andrew Kneiser with the St. Louis Cardinals. He's a catcher, so with Yadier out there, he's got to be patient. That looks like it's on card as well. I don't see a sticker. Beautiful there. That's for the St. Louis Cardinals. Again, Andrew Kisner. Kinsner. Kneiser. 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 I believe it'd be Kneiser. There you go. Cardinals on the board. Yes. Cardinals are on the board. All right. So let's see if we get lucky and they throw a double barrel in here. We will take it. So there's Mike Trout again, 2030. Beautiful cards, man. So tops now, Mike Trout, 19 uh, AL MVP. There's Mike Schmidt. We mentioned him earlier. There you go, Mike Schmidt, decades best, 70s. Decades best. Philadelphia. Just Sheffield. That's another Robert. Another Luis Robert. Get it, Chicago. Get it, Chicago. 
Miguel Sano, 35th anniversary throwback. So there you go. Minnesota. So Juan Soto home run challenge and Chris Taylor, L.A. Dodgers foil. Beautiful card for Taylor. And this gives the Nats a chance to go to next year's home run derby. How about that? That is a cool promotion. How'd you get tickets to the derby? I wanted off a break. How about that? Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something else? All right, here's your upside down cards. Closer. Sorry about that. And that's why. Manuel Margot is a 2020 snuck in there. 155 of 2020. So that's going to Tampa. There you go, Tampa. We've had two black cards. Well, several black, but I'm talking about the black uh, base here parallel. Want to see another fo armed forces, and they have that the. Uh, it's actually that that lavender one. I don't even know. I think it's out of ten, maybe, maybe. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Love this. Get that all day, Dubrock. Fergie Jenkins with the Chicago Cubs. 60's best. Chris Bryant, 2030, Chicago Cubs. Beautiful card there. Love those inserts. Bama Brothers, Minnesota, another Luis Robert. There you go, Chicago White Sox. They are certainly starting to stack up. And there's the Garrett Cole, 324 million. They talk about it right there. On the card, Seattle team card. So this is 1226 out of 2020. Austin Riley for the Braves. 35th anniversary there. Some additional upside down cards. More upside down cards. All right. Braves. Ricky Henderson, you know he'd have a solid war. Talk about five-tool player. Ricky Henderson, the Rick. The Rick. Not really his nickname, but Ricky. On that Mets team back in, uh, I think, the Subway Series, right? Was he on that team with, like, the Nia and all them? I think he was. Mets have had everyone. <laughs> Escobar. All right, we're rolling through, rolling through. We got one more stack left, and then we'll go through those upside down cards right quick. We'll move on to the next. We got four, or excuse me, we've got four on right now. The last two are boxes five and six. Jackie Robinson, L.A. Dodgers war card, 9.7 wins above replacement. For Jackie Robinson. Shohei Otani, 2030 with the Angels. Dodgers right there, Strapling. Or Stripling, excuse me, Stripling, Strapling. It's all Oh, no, it's not. Jose Altuve, 35th anniversary, Houston. There you go, Astros. The 
was Matt Olson. So Matt Olson with a blue parallel. And I got a couple of these last night. They're not numbered. But they're still, or lavender blue, whatever. It's all the same. Oakland Athletics. It is all the same. It's a parallel. Andre Dawson. So this Expos card will go to the Nats, 1970s, the Hawk. Andre Dawson. Gunning people from right field. Andre Dawson. And then years later, they get Vladimir Guerrero, another great right fielder. Backwards cards there. Tim Lopes. 527 out of 2020. There you go. All right. These are all the upside down culprits from the back end of that. Let's find out. Seen a lot of this card tonight. Yamaguchi, Blue Jays. There it is. So that's not lavender, but that's like a pink, red, whatever. Almost like a pomegranate color. That's to 50. 18 to 50. That is for Texas. Jose Trevino. So beautiful card for Texas. That's why I double back on those upside down sons of guns. Beautiful card here. So Texas. There you go. There you go, Texas. All right, so four's in the books. Five is next with the chrome from four. Let's go. Let's see what's up with the chrome. Come on now. Come on now. So Randy Arenzarino with the Rays. Robin Yunts. Excuse me, let me get these a little closer. Randy Arenzarino, Rays. Robin Younts with the Milwaukee Brewers, Aaron Savale, Indians, and Xander Bogart. Xander Bogart starting shortstop, Boston Red Sox. Hobby box number five. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We've got one hobby box left after this. We're making progress, guys. Slow and steady wins the race. All right. Here's your five-minute break time. As I bump into the camera yet again. Man, I'm loving that tonight. All right, so let's stack these up. You ain't macking you. If you ain't stacking, you ain't macking. I can't even have the saying right anymore. All right. Top series, two 14 cards per pack. There's 24 packs in a hobby. This is the time to get a drink. I'll peel all these up. And we will be good to go.
All right, we're about halfway through stack one. Just ripping it up. Moving right along, baby. Moving right along. Second half. A South. I just caught that from Eric. It's probably from like an hour ago. Sal Fasano. Relic. It's a super rare relic. guys thanks for bearing with me we're rolling through hobby number five we got six left that is it that will be it for the night we'll be shutting her down and get ready for sorting and shipping because with this set of cards it takes a little bit of time to make sure they're appropriately taken care of and there's a lot of Here we go. Hobby number five. Seventies decades best George Foster. Again, the big red machine was just that. A fucking machine, dude. And that was before my time. That's just... Baseball nerd Nate getting into old school highlights and reading up on shit. They were good. 76. Your Jordan you, uh, Luplau, excuse me, cannot read. Jordan Luplau, this is a silver foil as well. Beautiful card for Cleveland. San Diego, 2030 insert. Beautiful card for the Padres. Fernando Tatis Jr. Archie Bradley. Cincinnati Reds team card in there. So there's Dodgers, Dodgers when Price and Betts were introduced in LA tops now. There it is. So there you can see it. It's an old school logo. It has a canvas feel. So Minnesota, you'll know what I mean when you get the card. But I've been waiting for this. 62 out of 99. Last night's was easy. This one was on the back. Where it just feels a little different. Beautiful card there for the Minnesota Twins. So let me take care of this one right quick. It's Jake or a DZ. I believe he was on the Rays for a long time. Well, I shouldn't say a long time. For a couple seasons. That's probably the appropriate way to say that. Jake or a DZ. All right. So that card came in. There's... um. Masahiro Tan uh, Tanaka, Yankees. 35th anniversary there as well. Another Yamaguchi. So Tom Glavin, War, Braves, 8.5. What a staff they had. I mean, safe to say best staff ever, right? And the best staff ever doesn't mean they win. It's just which they won a lot of games. But 
only the one World Series there in 95. Andrew Jones helped them out big time. Andrew Jones showing up for that. 19-year-old putting on a show. Steinbrenner got fine. Saying, we'll sign his ass. 18-02 out of 2020. This is going to Philly. Andrew Knapp. Andrew Knapp, Philadelphia. I'm sure you guys remember that. What? 95. The fucking Braves, baby. Finally. Over the hump. Jacob DeGrom, 9.6 on his wins above replacement. Pete Alonzo, 2030 insert, New York Mets. Beautiful card there. Bob Gibson, 35-year anniversary, or the 35th anniversary, I should say. Bob Gibson, what a card. Look how young he looks. St. Louis, well done, Tops. Choose some good pitchers, too, for these guys. Looking real young, he was. All right. Shane Bieber, AL All-Star. There you go, Cleveland. Shane Bieber. Homer Bailey with the Twins. That is a beautiful card. Foil, silver, Twins. Jose Altuve, Elvis Andrews. Jesus. Decades best, 80s Dodgers. I'd say, yeah, they won the World Series. And it, there's Gibson right there. Right there. What a long time ago that was, but 88. Who was that against, right? The A's, right? The A's lost that World Series. Then they lost against the Reds. God, they should have won, or they could have. They should should have. They played the game for a reason, so that was that was horrible for me to say should have. They could have won basically four years in a row, 88, 89, so on and so forth, 90, 91. Danny Jansen, because then the Blue Jays showed up in 92, 93. A 13, 66 at a, two, at a 20, 20. Danny Jansen, so that's going to Toronto. All right, moving along on hobby number five. Oh yeah, God, dude, they were cr Eric. I don't. Even, I'm a big gambler, bro. I love to invest, is what I call it. <laughs> you gotta be careful, even though nowadays everything's accepted. It's like, you know, it's investing, right? So, the reality with that, uh, what were the lines back then, or did they not have them? You know, what I mean, baseball is weird to bet on because pretty much money. I don't know many people that would bet the run line in baseball, one and a half, shit like that. That's rough. That's that's hardcore gambling. But I'll take a money line bet. And I wonder what those lines were back then. If they even had them. Or maybe they just did series lines. I don't know. Speaking of the Reds, it was the Reds that beat uh, the A's. They swept them. In the early 90s. That big red machine was just that. Eric, I'm with you. E-dubs. There's Noah Syndergaard. Noah Syndergaard. All right. We are moving right along, trying to find some more inserts, some more parallels. Anything to go along with this 350-card base. Quite a set, but Tops does not disappoint. As always, they deliver.
and Rios. So those are your upside down cards for that. We got one more stack, and then we're moving on to the final hobby box. Let's get it. Here we go. Buster Posey, Seminole, three time World Series champ, 10, 12, 14. Buster Posey, great catcher, San Francisco Giants, the Bama Brothers. Again, if you hadn't seen that, let me get a zoom up on that one for you. That's Sano and Nelson Cruz. Francisco Lindor, 2030. Insert again, Cleveland Indians. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this one yet. I mean, there are like 10 of these. There might be more. I'll have to look that up. We've not had any of the number or anything like that. And I know they have a couple variants with them. Another Luis Robert. How about that? Chicago White Sox. We'll count them at the end. Jesus, Robert. Lou Gehrig. Have not seen this card. Let's fucking go. What? What? Look at this card. Look at this card. Lou Gehrig going bass fishing, or fly fishing. I shouldn't just say bass. He's fly fishing. Up in Montana or some shit. Look at this. I had no idea what to think of when I turned it over, and there it was. Get your gears, boys. We're going fishing, and we're not fishing for trout. We just caught a gear. How about that shit? Beautiful SP there. Not numbered. Very unique. Even the Yankee sign looks a little off. How about that? Wow. How about that? Beautiful car. Oh, it's the same pack as this. Here we go. Here we go. So all these are backwards. Corey Seager. And that was a card shielding at the uh, aim, or, uh, the A's. A beautiful card for Corey Seager. Love the blue. It is popping off the card. When you see it in person, you will believe. You will believe. Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. And that is a beautiful card. Nice, Corey Seager. Wow. Get it. L.A. Dodgers. How about that? How about them apples? All right, let's finish this out, move on to the final hobby, and get going. Nolan Arenado, beautiful card for Colorado. Nolan Arenado with the Colorado Rockies, all-star for sure. Robin Young, Milwaukee Brewers. It's a 35-year throwback as well. All right, upside down. Here we go. Another Luis Robert. How about that, Chicago? Get some of that. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 2030. Howie Kendrick. World Series champion, Howie.
Juan Soto base is clearing single in the eighth. Caps a comeback. I'd agree. I'd also agree with this. Staring down the barrel of a 45. Turn and run. It's Pedro Martinez, 2000's decades best. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Pedro was dominant. He was on the Expos at one time, guys. Yeah. Yep. Another what could have been. What could have been. Imagine if they would have kept the talent. Imagine Larry Walker. Imagine all that shit. And then Pedro rolling in. Coming to form. Pedro had a brother in the league as well. With the Dodgers, I believe. Uh, 876, 2020. He's a pretty good pitch, too. Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario with the Twins. Catel Marte. Catel Marte with the Arizona Diamondbacks. That's the 35th anniversary. There you go. McCutcheon. So this is for the Pirates. The Pirates getting in on the home run challenge as well. That's Josh Bell. Pittsburgh Pirates. That's the scratch off. Remember these all backwards as well. Jesus. Every single card is bad. All right. Let's go run through that backwards stack. Make sure we're good for the chrome. And the final hobby. Then you guys are out. It's about midnight here. Let's roll. That throwback uni for the Reds. Not an insert, just the picture. Still looking for the stars and stripes. We got one last night, and we had a camo one too, so damn it. We got one hobby box left. We're going to be positive. That's where it is. Come on now. Final box. Let's get it. It is the final box. Come on now. Come on now. And actually, why am I opening that now? We got the Cromer real quick. All right, let's see what we have. They got a black card at the end. There's another one of their August 8th is baseball card day. Brandon Lowe with the Tampa Bay Rays. Roberto Clemente, look at that card. Pittsburgh Pirates, hell yeah. Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees, and Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones, black card numbered 193. At a 199, we were just talking about Chip. Wow, it's probably an hour ago now, but talking about Chipper, Eddie, and Mickey Man, all the best switch hitters ever. Ever. Chipper Jones. How about that? What's his real name? Larry or some shit like that? Larry. Get it. Chipper Jones, a Florida boy. How about that, Chipper? Wow. Wow, that's cool, man. All right, great card there. Love that Clemente as well. All right, guys, now we're on the final box that you just saw me open. So excited we're on the final box. I just went for it. I just went. I went right at it. All right, there we go. 
All right, guys. Best of luck. We are on the final hobby. We will do a recap. Get one more drink, and then we are good to go. Drain real quick, whatever. You got a couple more minutes. We are on the final hobby box. Double barrel action cards. Go to the Facebook group, Double Barrel Action Cards. What a wonderful name. We got a private group. We got everything from Sapphire to Mosaic up right now. I got a random of Bowman 2020. It's like 17 bucks. You can get the Yankees. People are paying over 200 bucks. Let's roll. Got a lot of cool stuff there. Double Barrel Private Reserve is the name of the private group. Join the group. You'll have access to a lot of the other cool operators. We're not leaving eBay. We're not leaving eBay. eBay's great. eBay has issues and, you know, whatever. No one's perfect, right? But eBay's still great. So I will post one of the sapphires up on eBay. But a lot of the unique product that we're getting our hands on, that's going right up to the Facebook group. Because I tell you what, you boys in the Facebook group, you love your cards and you know what you want. And I love that. Let's ride. Best of luck. We are on the final hobby box. Right here, right now. Couple minutes shy of Tuesday, July 21st. We are going to end out Monday, the 20th of 2020. 2020, 20, 20, 20, 7 2020, 20, 20. With some baseball cards. Let's go. How about that? Chipper Jones. I keep looking at it in the corner. Chipper Jones, baby. Get that chipper. You know. Chipper Jones. I think Chipper actually didn't get a lot of the love he should have had. Yep. I said it. I said it. Last stack of six right here. Right here, right now. And we are good to go. Again, thank you, guys. Thank you for your support. I said it at the start. I'm going to close with it. Teamwork always makes the dream work. I am noticing a lot of repeat buyers that are spanning across multiple products. I do have guys that are loyal. They like their tops. They like their Bowman. I know it's the same company. But they're specific to what they like. I get that as well. I'm actually very, very picky. And I'm resistant to change. <laughs> Just be real. But I have noticed that. So, uh, for real, guys, thank you. Thank you. Having said that, let's fucking go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, we'll move these guys back here. We'll do four quick little stackers. You know they're going to throw some upside-down cards at us because Tops does not have quality control. And don't tell me that when I opened them, I put it on backwards. I didn't. Wade Boggs with the Boston Red Sox. What was it? 707. He had all the super... It's all right. Just hit the ball, Wade. And he did. His 3,000th hit was a home run with the Tampa Bay Rays. How about that? Gavin Lux, L.A. Dodgers cover boy, Gavin Lux. Ronnie Rodriguez, Milwaukee Brewers. There's Hunter Harvey again. Kansas City Royals, 80s best. We were talking about this last time I saw this card. It was, uh, I think it was 87, the World Series with the blown call, right? Cardinals Chiefs. Cardinals Chiefs. God damn. Cardinals Royals.
Enough. This is a team card for you, Bill. And excuse me, not Bill. I apologize, Bill. It's like, yeah, this is Daryl. I think Daryl's the one that had the Orioles. A beautiful foil team card, Daryl. There you go, Baltimore. And that's D Dylan Moore. 337 out of 2020. Dylan Moore with the Seattle Mariners. Indians, Mike Clevenger, 35th year anniversary. Christian Yelich. So the Brewers, you're getting a chance to go to the Home Run Derby as well. Here you go, Milwaukee. We'll save that for the end. There's a memorabilia card in there. We'll pull it at the very end. Here we go. Or what I suspect to be a memorabilia card, I should say that. It looks and feels like one. David Ortiz. Boston Red Sox. A beautiful card. 35th anniversary. Ortiz. Big poppy. Big Poppy doing a lot better. It was about a year ago, right? He got popped at a restaurant. Big Poppy getting into a little bit of trouble down there. Come on, Big Poppy. Luke Weaver. There you go. Arizona. That's a foil card. Bregman. Houston, 2030. So here we go. A little run here at the end. Here we go. Brendan Rogers. So there's another Robert. This is just them <laughs> with marketing material. Newly extended Phenom. Sox Fest. Here you go, Tops. Player of the Decade, Trout, another insert for the Trout-specific Player of the Decade run that they put for him. So Randy Dobnak, this is an SP. Getting close on that. Look at R.D. Looking like he drives a truck. So there's another SP. The old trucker stash. Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer, 35th anniversary. That's going to the Nats. Dylan Bundy. It's Angels. It's you, Darvish. There you go, you. You making the cut. And another Bama Brothers. That's several of those. Oh, that is... I must just grab the... <laughs> I'm like, oh, I lost some cut. No, I didn't. It's the memorabilia. All right, these were the upside down cards from the first two stacks. Trent Williams. Trevor Williams, excuse me. There it is. I still see Seattle. It's hard. I don't even know if he's on a squad this year, right? Is he even on a pitching staff? I'm going to look that up. So we have upside down cards in the upside down pile.
How about that? Tops keeping me on my toes. Having to rotate the cards. Panini absolutely packed with goodies. All right, get it. Right? I think they're coming up with Optic or something this week. I think. I'll do Panini. For, like, football, basketball, and stuff. I don't really fuck with the baseball too much. I did a break. I had a guy who was like, hey, man, you get in the prism, I would totally be interested. So we got some and put it up. It did well. I didn't lose on it. I'll tell you that. But ugh, even opening it, I didn't have the same. I'm excited. When I open this shit, I generally like it. The cards, I'm like, oh, man, this is sweet. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. You guys like cards, you're here. So you, you probably understand. But leave it there. All right. Good luck, man. Get what you get, bro. Get what you get. Juan Gonzalez. How about that team? Juan, Pudge, Jose Canseco. A lot of dudes hitting home runs, and they were losing games. 13 to 10. Who they have? Who's their best pitcher? Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers, perfect game. Remember that? Kenny Rogers, here's a true story. Kenny Rogers, his wife and his kid came. I put him on a go-kart years ago. I swear to God, it's true. That's a Vladimir Guerrero. I worked at a go-kart place. And the Rangers had spring training down in Port Charlotte. That's over in the Gulf of Florida. And he rolled up. It was pretty cool. I mentioned the perfect game. He smiled. But I knew he was there with his family. Here we go, Sin Chu Chu. Nine out of 50. How about that? How about that? Shin Su Chu, Texas. I feel like Texas has gotten a run of cards. I also saw Pudge. Pudge came with his family. That was a little different of a trip because that dude was spending money. It's like renting that fucker out. It was cool. Go, Pudge, go. Had a good night that night. Go, Pudge, go. So, Shin Tu Chu. Let's go to the recap. There's a big unit in town. How about that? Randy Johnson. The big unit, Seattle. The big unit. Another oh, Mookie Betts war. God, look how high it is. 10.9. Griffey's was like in the sevens. Griffey. Jeez. Another Luis Robert right there. Come on, Chicago White Sox. You're welcome. So look at this card, a beautiful foil card. How about that, Julio Urias? Beautiful there. And Junior Fernandez, we had an acetate card for Junior Hernandez the other day. 2007 out of 2020 was a card I'd never seen. It was probably one of the most unbelievable cards that I've ever opened to just be like, I was confused. I'm like, what is this? It looked like a key card. It was pretty cool. That's your last two for that. All right, so we got one little mini stack left. And then we are just over midnight. Here's the upside down group from that. Just to make sure we don't miss another one of those parallels. All right. We are moving on. Just saw Miguel Andujar. Interested so he he'll do. We did our fantasy draft. I don't give a shit. Judge me. That shit's fun too. And yeah, I'm doing fantasy on a 60 game season. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Double barrel action is looking for some action. That's right. All right, guys. Jokes aside, one left. Come on, let's roll. And you know that small stack right there is there for a reason. I am as blind as a bat, so when I catch these cards, I always surprise myself. And I caught one. But I've missed quite a few. I'll rip. I'll be like, Jesus, that's a memorabilia. That's an auto. All right, San Francisco. 
Here we go. Final pack of the night. Final stack of the night. Another war. Max Scherzer, 8.7. World Series champs, baby. Max Scherzer and the Washington. Now, hey, we got baseball in three days, boys. You want some free money? Load up on the Nationals, game one. And I know you're laughing right now. You guys are like, what? This guy, what is this guy doing? I've been talking for two hours, so I'm not inebriated yet. Okay? Emphasis on yet. But I'm giving out free lead pipe lock winners. Hit that shit. You go ahead and take the Nats. You take the Nats on Thursday. You thank me on Friday. That's right. You heard it here. The World Series champs are going to open up the... Oh, another Luis Robert. Look at that. I told you, we'll count them. We got to be at 10. We got to. Daryl Strawberry. A beautiful car right there. New York Mets. 35th anniversary. And I lost her. Those, that's the team of the 80s. The Mets. Well, at least the late, well, mid 80s. Because they blew it in 85. Absolutely blew it. But 86, they came to play. I don't know if it was a 30 for 30 or if it was a Doc Gooden one, but they highlighted a lot of the time with him and his extracurricular activities. Um, just hearing him talk, it was amazing. I mean, he, he, missed, he missed the team's World Series parade because he was doing his thing. That has a messed up corner. That came like that. Warren Spahn, it's black too, which sucks. 154 out of 299. That's a bummer. Atlanta. I'll slave it for you, but that one's already coming in a little bit dinged out the out the out the gate there. Atlanta. But yeah, that was a rough 30 for 30. Love that show or series or whatever. Put on a lot of good stuff. Watched the Vic one recently. A lot of a lot of so. I mean, we've all had a lot of time, so. To watch stuff. Let's just be real. You know what I mean? All right, let's end this out. Decades best. Dennis Eckersley. We just talked about him. I think he's a color guy now for the Red Sox. There's another black card. There's something thick back there, too. Could be this. So, Murphy and Trevino. 29 out of 69. Josh Hader. So, a little bit of a mini, a mini flurry there at the end. For us. To end it. We're going to hit the chrome real quick. We have nothing to random. So we're going to unveil what that memorabilia card is. We're going to do a quick recap. We're good. We are good to go. What is in the upside down pile? Let's find out. Strasburg. I wish see that 47. I thought that was that Skaggs guy, that uh, younger pitcher that unfortunately passed away. Last year, the year before, then they threw like a no hitter. Every time I see that card, I see the forty seven. I think of that. I don't know why I'm. I'm just kind of talking out loud, thinking out loud, if you will. Um, if there's any Angels fans, let me know. Did they wear that forty seven the whole year? Well, hell yeah. All right. All right. That was that. Let's take a look at the memorabilia. We'll rip that chrome, and we are done. We gotta mail these out to you guys. All right. So it's numbered and it's going to Milwaukee. It's the Brewers. A beautiful card there. Milwaukee Brewers. Out of 50, 37 out of 50. A stunner.
to end the night. How about that? We got a Yelich last night, too. So two of them in the case. Two Yeliches in the case. A beautiful card. Go, Brew Crew. Go, Brew Crew. How about that? Milwaukee. So we're, and we just had the hater, too. We're going to do a quick update, open that chrome as well. These were the cards surrounding it. And, of course, they threw another upside down. Wilkerson, Wilson Ramos, Luis Rios, Steven Piscotti. And the final card of the night, how poetic, an upside down. Hunter Harvey, Baltimore. Chrome. Let's see what we have for the chrome. And then we're done. Another Luis Robert. How about that? There he is, Chicago White Sox prospect Luis Robert. Jalen Davis with the Giants. Jose Arquiti. Astros. And Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers with the Tigers. All right, let's have a recap. First thing we'll do, we'll count the Roberts. I mean, come on. So you had that. And then we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 again. 11 beautiful Robert rookie cards. Bam. And then you had this. You had a Tops Now as well. So the White Sox, I assume this is what you were after, and you got it. The foil cards. We had this, and I'm not going to do every insert, just the ones I like. I'm not going to lie to you. L Dodgers got a foil card. Luis Rias, or excuse me, uh, Urias. Luke Weaver with the Arizona Diamondbacks team card for the Orioles. Beautiful foil. Homer Bailey, love these foil cards. Minnesota, Jordan Luplau with the Cleveland Indians. LA, LA Dodgers, Chris Taylor. Beautiful card there. Jacob Junis, Kansas City Royals. Mike Ford with the New York Yankees. There is James McCann with the uh, Chicago White Sox. Garrett Cole with the New York Yankees. A beautiful foil card. Jose Abreu, same thing. Beautiful card. Kobe Allard, Texas. And we started the night with this card. Beautiful foil card for the Rangers. A team card. All right. The SPs. We had Randy Dobnak, Harmon Killebrew. Love the Harmon Killebrew. Luis Severino. Boston Red Sox. That's Chris Sale. The reaction being put back on the DL, no doubt. And this was Jonathan Daza. The sixth is in there. We got six. You get one a, a hobby. Um, SPs, and you're about to see the six. It's Lou Gehrig, and I put it in plastic just because it's very unique. All right, so let's do this. We'll do the black cards and the noticeable cards. Finish with memorabilia. There it is. And then we are good to go, baby. Thank you all again for spending some time with me. I wish you guys a great evening. We'll do those last. And that's what, 50... All right, so we're going to do it this way. Andrew Benatendi, black card, Boston Red Sox. That's 274 out of 299. That's going out to Boston. Then we had several of these parallels where, let's see here. Do, 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 uh, and there it is. So we had on the black border here, this one's Atlanta. That is 35 out of 69. That is Travis Denard with Atlanta, the Braves. This is Victor Caratini. Victor Caratini, 19 out of 69. That's the Cubbies. That's Josh Hader. Josh Hader with the Brewers. And that's 29 out of 69. So there you go for that. Additional black cards. We just saw this one. Warren Spahn, 154 out of 299. That's going to... The uh, Braves. And then we had an additional black card here. This is Chipper Jones. 193 out of 199. A chrome, no doubt. No doubt. That is a beautiful card.
Jake or a Dizzy. I don't know. I don't know what you would call this, but you can see the logo. It's the old school Tops logo, and it's numbered 62 out of 69. And you'll feel it too. It's got like a cardboardish. And this was the SP, the Lou Gehrig SP. Very unique. He's fishing. Not numbered. Haven't seen it yet. Didn't even hear of it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Look at this shit. He signed to the Yanks. He's a free agent. How about that? These are both numbered out of 50. It's like a pomegranate colored pinkish. That's Jose Trevino and Shin Su Chu, a bluish, like a North Carolina blue. Either way, Jose Trevino, 18 out of 50. And then Shin Su Chu, 9 out of 50 over there. And now for the fun. We were to put these in order. I'd probably probably say the Rizzo just because I like Rizzo, but or maybe the Bregman. All right, so we'll do this. Trout coming through hardcore just to start the night. We knew it was going to be great when Trout showed up early. That's going to the Angels and an auto Andrew Kneiser. And if I'm mispronouncing that, I do apologize. Not my intention. This is for the Cardinals. So there you go. Cardinals. Corey Seager coming to play. Beautiful card for the Dodgers. Love that card. And then here we go. So this card is definitely the card of the evening as we look at just raw numbers. Anthony Rizzo, 199. It's 98 out of 199. A beautiful jersey card there. And then we've got Alex Bregman. This is 137 at a 199. Then we got the winner, Christian Yelich, 37 out of 50. So that is how we will stack this up. And we are done. We are absolutely done. Thank you for your time. I'll get these mailed out as soon as I can. If you guys need anything, reach out. Other than that, this one is in the books. Go to the Facebook page, Double Barrel Action Cards. I'll see you there.